Good morning, princess. It is day 10 aboard the lovely Caribbean princess, and we are on the first of three sea days on our way to Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, it's not Miami, but close enough. Anyway, I am about to decide what to have for breakfast. I think we go through the same routine every morning, don't we? Okay, maybe we'll try and mix it up, but uh, they they won't open the steakhouse for me, so uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we're kind of stuck. Jeez, Louise, we're in the middle of the ocean and they won't leave us alone. ruh But, uh, what is that about? Tempting, but it's late. I'd rather have lunch. From International Cafe, the left is a princess egg muffin, and on the right is a cinnamon bun. Okay, not princess egg McMuffin. I have to very carefully say that it's the princess egg muffin. Yes, I decided to make my appearance uncovered this morning because I brought too many cold weather <laughs> uh, hats and it wasn't as cold as predicted. That's why you keep seeing Florida all the time. I guess let's just start with the muffin. Ooh, yes, and they are warmed up. Oh boy, wow, are they warmed up? Okay, I think we're gonna have to wait a second. All right, well, here goes nothing. It is an egg sandwich for Americans, 100%. It's been a while since I've had three sea days in a row. Probably, yeah, it might have been Norwegian Encore. That was eight in a row. Uh, Norwegian Prima, we, no, we only had a couple of back-to-back -back CDs, that's it. Gotta do a, another trans-oceanic uh, sometime. Since we have a few minutes, let's talk about my adventure yesterday to Luna Park. I was surprised that all of the major attractions, all the roller coasters were operating. It's very easy for parks like that to just close some of the bigger ones early or defer maintenance or things like that. And then I realized Zamperla owns that park. So they don't want to even risk a small reputation that they can't operate their own rides. It makes perfect sense that they keep everything open all the time, even with walk-ons for everything. So yeah, I, that's that's got to be it. It's just a corporate decision. We open every ride every day because we don't want anyone thinking that, you know, they're unreliable. This is the Princess Cinnamon Bun. Okay, I, <clears throat> I asked them to warm it up a bit, and they did. Of course, I've been sitting here for a while, but uh, that's on me. All right, let's try and eat this without getting the cream all over our face. All right, here we go. It's not very cinnamony or sugary. Intentional? Well, yeah, obviously it's intentional, but all right. Look at that sky. Well, <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm seated here in the secret sitting spot aboard the Caribbean Princess, right outside the Princess Theater because I am tired, or better, better said, exhausted, probably from yesterday at Luna Park, running around, riding the rides. Some of them are old, classic cyclone, some of the mid-tier experimental rides that uh, throw you around in ways that you're not used to, like I would. But after that, yeah, I uh, feel a little, well, I'm not sick or anything like that. I just think I should take a nap, but it's, yeah, boom, boom. Not the soundtrack I would have expected. Here's the plan, lunch at Salty Dog, then that's it. Don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this, well, okay. I mean, this is what I was expecting, but they're so small. All right, one of them is the grilled chili lime chicken, and the other is the sweet potato chili. It is also freezing outside, so I think uh, the officer on the watch said the expected high today was going to be 70, which means it's, it's in the 60s right now. Tomorrow, 80, so that will be the pool day. But wow, I did not expect that uh, bright sun, but ugh. Let's give the street tacos a try. Not to say while we still can, but no. I guess we'll start with the um, the sweet potato. Yeah, that's really nice. It doesn't taste or feel corporate at all. Okay. And yes, I did skip the gym. So, okay, go ahead. Tell me down below how irresponsible and, and gross looking I am, but I don't care. Uh, I do care. Tomorrow, no. Here's the plan. Uh, yes, <laughs> the rides. I'm blaming it on the rides. Uh, let's have fun today, but get to bed early. And then in the morning, up early, maybe see the sunrise, then we'll back on schedule and uh, for a fun day outside, maybe in the pool, mini golf, all that kind of stuff. So that's the plan. And yeah, 88% will, will make it. But okay, this is the chili lime. Oops. Oops. 
Okay, this is the chili. Oh God, okay. I'm making a mess. Ooh, that is really good. This is a sunshine daiquiri. It brings strawberries, lime, lemon, and mango. And to go with this, rye and nephew, overproof rum, better together. And it's it's the ship again, I swear. So the daiquiri itself was six dollars. Well, it is six dollars, but it's included in uh, Princess Plus and Premier, which is good because I don't know if I would have paid six dollars for that. You can always plus it up. Should have chosen a sweeter rum. They don't have Mount Gay, by the way. Very. It seems to be a German day here in the buffet. Okay then. Yummy, yummy. I think we have decided. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, very, very good. Yeah. Excellent. But, um, yeah. I would be offended. Of course, they still have the favorite of the fatherland. Nachos. And here is the spread. Bunch of random stuff. Thing is, I don't recall ever seeing German Day. Wow, all that was pretty darn good. Like I said, I don't remember the last time I saw German Day at the buffet. It must have been on, if it was, it was on World Caribbean and it was a long, long time ago. And I know, I know what you're all thinking. Oh, Miami, you skipped the gym and now you're just picking out at the buffet. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. And now I'm going to go get a princess dessert because I'm pretty and I deserve it. And I already paid for it, so why not? This is the honey and oats cookie sandwich. It is a oatmeal raisin cookie, I know, I know, I know, with honey yogurt ice cream. That was really good and very easy to eat because the oatmeal cookie, it, it comes apart, you know, with uh, just a spoon, which means you could probably could bite into it and it would be a cookie sandwich. All right, I ordered something from the juice bar and I kinda wish now I had gone to get it myself because it is freezing out here still. Oh no, oh please, open tomorrow. Oh, look at Ursula. Ooh, she's been all prettied up. I think for right now, this is a nice compromise. It is not bitterly cold back here and a lovely view. I have done nothing this afternoon, really, and I am fine with that. I took a nap um, just here at the end of the buffet. Weird, but uh, let me see what's going on around the ship. Apparently, one well, of the new trend that's going around is people explaining how they are not going to comply with the draft. I absolutely 100% agree. There is no reason to fight for these clowns in Washington right now, so it happened again. Yes, it happened again last night. Another guest, you know, we, we had a chat before, she walks up and says, oh, nice to see you with clothes on. Do I have a reputation now? Are people just staring at me and objectifying me? It's okay if you do, but you know, seriously, I just wanna know. Unfortunately, my dining timing has been terrible. Planks is closed tonight and Steamers is open, but I've already been to Steamers twice and I wanna go back there, so that means tomorrow it is. Back to planks. Enjoying an early evening refresher, a godfather. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but on the Carnival Corporation lines, well, Carnival here on Princess, they don't know how to make them without charging for two credits or for taking two credits. So be aware of that, but it is a good way to burn credits if that's your end game. And the Churchill Lounge is finally open. I think I've only seen this open one other time. No, I don't feel bad about taking a nap. I I don't think I've taken a nap this whole cruise and it's been almost, you know, uh, go, go, go for 10 days. So yeah, yeah, I deserve it. Finally got restocked on all the uh, good stuff. This is um, wrong. I don't remember what it is. Um, I will I will find out and let's show. It's really good though. Oh, I see Mike Pence dropped out of the uh, Trump cabinet sweepstakes. Um, Ron, all you had to do was say thanks for your service. Not a good look free cruise around Mathis and Hammock on my kayak to anyone who can solve this puzzle. Well, aren't we fancy? Princess Cruises premium milk chocolate? Okay, well, let's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I might have to, to try some of that. We are approaching evening here aboard Caribbean Princess and I wanted to show you something that is oh, absolutely gorgeous that isn't me. All right, I gotta turn around because yeah, this is not doing it justice at all. Saying goodbye to day 10 aboard Caribbean Princess. Nice relaxing day. Don't worry, this is not this is not the end. I think we're just gonna continue straight on into the evening. Dinner plans and all that is coming up. This is the kind of shot that I should probably take some B-roll of, but I don't really do that. And I 
if I did, it'd be super complicated, but, well, this is it. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. The life we live. So, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I'm gonna spoil it by saying, for this beautiful sunset, give me a like and a subscribe. How's that? <laughs> yeah, otherwise, you hate the environment. I think I found the secret crew smoking area. Tonight is chef's dinner here in the dining room. There's the whole menu. All right, I'll let you take a quick peeky poo at this. What I like and what is kind of drawing me here is they actually have chef's recommendation, which is basically what I would do. I would just sit down and say, just bring me whatever it says here. Right, I just got done taking pictures with the white background and the heart, which is over there. It's a super fun prop and oh darn, I scrolled a surprise, but that doesn't matter. So the thing is, if I can work my way out of here, a guest was walking by and she looked over during the photo shoot and she's like, oh, oh, you really need a woman in the pictures with you. And uh, well, apparently she doesn't watch my videos. So I'm, I'm crushed, I'm devastated. Uh, oh well, control me please. Uh, yeah, give me, give me good solstice. I guess mispreferenced would be the best word just because of lexically how it works out, but it's, it's, it's not a preference. Mm, it's not actually perfectly accurate. Let's ponder this. Let me know what y'all think uh, down below. And that reminds me, I promised you all a meltdown. Okay, you know what, why not? Okay, I just have to remember to do it. I mean, I have to set up the whole like, you know, uh, background and lighting and get emotionally in the mood because you know they all they all do this just for the video right here are all the sundries that they have aboard the caribbean princess uh pretty much all the normal snuff snuff Ooh, well do they no they don't snacky poos and uh yeah all the little fruity euro style edibles well, not no no you know what i mean and uh candies and oh beef jerky Okay, I have not seen that aboard a cruise ship before. Drama aboard Caribbean Princess. Apparently the captain was changed out in New York, but the new captain did not show up to the uh, super fancy platinum and premium cocktail event. So this is gonna cause a stir because let me tell you, if that happened on Royal, the Pinnacles, they would have mutinied, they would have taken over the ship, but everyone seems uh, pretty chill about it. I mean, disappointed, but there was free booze, and yeah, we all know why they all went to the, yeah. Captain, what, what captain? Congratulations to the bar staff here on Caribbean Princess for knowing how to make a godson. Yes, wow, this is out of left field. I know what I said, I know what I said, but why be a package? You know what, it's the Princess Premier Challenge, so here we go. Now, I will say though, if I don't make it to the gym tomorrow, oh, let me know, absolutely let me know. So we win trivia, except Tony Basil. Ugh, Tony Basil. It is 80s night here aboard Caribbean Princess. Unfortunately, I do not have an 80s costume, and I know I should do better. Look, always bring a 70s, 80s, and 90s costume. That's, then you, you're, you're good to go. Either way, I'm gonna head to dinner and, well, you know what, we're just gonna do an inline speed run because I don't wanna miss the rest of the fun. It's not a deck party, but hey, at least it's an A party. I'm seated in the island dining room and my order is in. I gave all three quarters, I guess, and uh, I started the clock as soon as I gave the order. We are two minutes in. I told them just bring it as quickly as the kitchen sends it out. So. Uh, we can uh, finish dinner and it will, no, I shouldn't say that. We are going to enjoy dinner and then head out to the 80s party. Bread service is already here, so yes, I will be partaking. And of course, butter. I did this so quickly, I did not keep a menu to tell you what I was eating, but I showed you earlier. So if you weren't paying attention, uh, roll the video, video video, no, video, back to then, and you'll see the menu. I got the chef selections, all three of them. Trout Amandine is the choice. But actually, you know what? Okay, if I, yeah, I know how to do this. There you go, that's what I got. Well, let's start with the uh, brown, well, or should we call this the bread of color? Anyway, here we go. Okay, it's a European style bread. I just can't quite place it. It's really good. Appetizer is already here, so I'll show you. 
but you're just gonna have to, yeah, you know, whatever, here it is. Actually, this is kind of fun because I, not knowing what I'm eating, this is, uh, here we go, chef's selection approved. This is very good. All right, I do need to remind myself to just slow down and enjoy it. This is, I guess it's a test of the dining room and not me. <laughs> so, yeah, relax, relax, it's great. The party is, uh, well, well I, there's nothing here. That dramatic effect, oh my God, the party is almost about to start. No, it's not. Um, and it's gonna go on for like two hours, so we're good. That was great. I just wish I remember what it was. Next course is already here. Uh, the the Trout Almondine. I remember that because I remember I remember because I had to make a choice. And Trout Almondine, this is one of those very classic dishes that I haven't seen on very many menus, but I remember it from like when I was a kid. Here we go with Chef's recommended Trout Almondine. And yes, those are almonds. Almondine, okay. Nuts and fish. <laughs> There's a middle school joke in there somewhere. It is prepared very well. Um, the the trout is a middle of the road fish, meaning it has like a distinctiveness to it. Uh, so that comes through very well, unlike um, a uh, tilapia, which is basically nothing. It just assumes the flavor that it's prepared in. So yeah, I think they've done very well. It's really good. I got in just under the wire. They are clearing all the tables now, so I think the get-out lights are going to be illuminated soon. Wow, are they quick, quick. That was fantastic, the uh, trout almondine. Oh boy, so something I would not normally order, well, mostly because I rarely see it on a menu, but that was really good. Dessert is already here, the caramelized something, I think. Winner, winner, island dining room dinner. 25 minutes from sit down to last course presented. I I stopped the timer as the last uh, the dessert was uh, placed on the table because you know however long I take to eat this, it's not on them. So yeah, all right. If you are on well at least a Caribbean princess and want a quick dining room experience, they can absolutely accommodate you. The chef's recommended caramel dessert. That is a new texture, which is surprising. It's custardy on the spoon. It's kind of solid, but it like melts instantaneously and like envelops your whole mouth. And plus 10 to the bar staff here aboard Caribbean Princess for knowing how to make a god daughter unprompted. Yum. I know we're all adults here, but I, I'm not gonna make that joke either. Well, we just did essentially dance off trivia, and uh, yes, we won, of course, another bottle of uh, champagne ish. All right, super fun. After a few minutes in Skywalkers, because yeah, it's not that great. <laughs> All right, uh, this is just a old favorite. Oh my god, 12 days old favorite. The beef Guinness pie and a princess pizza. Pizza muffin. It's like the one thing that I miss on this cruise is the late night party is just not. <laughs> so uh, I have found Skywalkers to be practically empty. When I say practically empty, I mean there's not really enough people to make a party. So yeah, that's um, something that I'm not particularly used to. Even on Transatlantics, the uh, club at the end of the night has a fair amount of guests in it. But here, no, there's uh, actually there's not even regulars. Unless I'm the regular. Oh my God, am I the regular at the late night club? Okay, well, I'm from Miami, so that would make sense. But uh, yeah, but everything else actually is really, I like it. I know I've said this before, but I like it a lot. Uh, oh boy, am I a princess cruiser? <laughs> okay, you know what? Well, no, because, you know, I like to try all lines and, you know, see what they have to offer and go from one to the other. Uh, I guess if you're gonna limit it to cruising, I guess that would, you know, I guess that would be a, that would be a promiscuous cruiser for cruising, cruising, cruising only. But uh, yeah, I like it. A couple more I really, really wanna try. We will definitely try to take care of that in 2024. That's next year, right? <laughs> I don't even know. I met the uh, Princess Premium Challenge this evening and okay. But, but, don't judge me now. Well, okay, if you want to, go ahead in the comments below, like, subscribe, all that. Tomorrow 
if I don't work out, if I don't go to the gym, then absolutely, yes, I deserve it. <laughs> yes, I will deserve the spanking. Ooh, that could be a prize. No, it's not gonna be a prize. I was chatting with some other guests earlier and uh, we kind of joked that the crew should rate the guests. Yeah, you know, in terms of um, allowing them to sail again. Yeah, no, corporate would never even entertain that possibility, but uh, I think it's kind of fun if uh, the crew were able to, you know, have a say in who gets to come back because to be honest, maybe some guests really don't need to, but there was one very strange incident, apparently. I didn't hear the whole story, but I, it seems a guest complained that a espresso martini was not frothy enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, weird thing to complain about. So, okay. And they made a new one, but it was just like, okay. Um, I, I Honestly, I wouldn't even... I couldn't even tell. I mean, I might know that it was different from another bar, but that happens. So, yeah, I would just kind of... I don't know, brush it off as, you know, different different techniques or whatever. I know, I know, I know, they're all supposed to make the drinks with the same process, whatever, but yeah, no, people don't do that. Really? Frothiness in, in, in an espresso martini that is probably part of your package that you're not gonna really use? Okay. And why do all old gay couples look the same? I mean, notable exceptions noted, but uh, yeah, uh, come on guys, uh, maybe break the stereotype a little bit? peanut butter cheesecake something or other, but I'm more interested in the crust to see what that is. I think I know what, what it's gonna be. I think we've had it before, but let's give it a try. The blueberry cheesecake? Uh, no, chocolate blueberry cheesecake. Oh, I don't know, I, the crust. This is this is what I wanna know about. It's not graham cracker, it's like graham cracker adjacent. It's like a, it's like a, a ginger cookie without the ginger, if that makes sense. Yes, well, I'm sure the worldly and sophisticated members of the court know exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, they didn't try to pass it off as anything, so yeah, it's it's pretty good. It is time for Betty Bye, and uh, I completed the Princess Premium Challenge without even trying. It's easy if you know the game to use more credits than you need to. Why would anybody want to do that? I don't know, but yeah, definitely doable. So I'm off to bed. Hopefully the temperature will be warmer than it was today. It was absolutely freezing up on deck. And uh, while it made enjoying my cookie sandwich, well, very easy because nothing melted. Uh, yeah, it did throw a wrench into my plans. Not that I had many real, real strict plans, but it, yes, the cold weather was a problem that I'm very, because we're here, thankful for.